All right, let me just give you a quick look at this heat storm um, wall heater. So you can see it's got the filters on the side. Um, and this is in the sunroom, you know, so it's going to do a pretty good job heating a space like this. Obviously not a replacement for, you know, a bigger system. Uh, it does have a remote, and then you can also hook it up to the app, uh, which gives you a lot more functionality to be able to control stuff. But just in terms of the remote, um, when you turn it on, um, you know, it's going to tell you what temperature it is in the room right now. So obviously we don't need this on right now because it's 93 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So uh, then you can change it from uh, hitting this power button. You can change it from low to auto to high. And that's just going to basically put it at whatever temperature you want it to go to and then try to get it to that temperature as quickly as possible. Um, then... Besides that, you can hit this uh, display button if you just want to turn off the, the, the display, cycle through a couple of those. It also does have this timer function, function, so if I just put this on low and then I turn it off. If I hit the timer button, I'm going to be telling it when I want it to turn on, when I, when I want it to turn off. So you can have it just basically go um, only for a certain amount of time, and again, in the app, that is, uh, you know, you can you can also use that functionality. So, yeah, again, when I turn it on, you see the Wi-Fi thing, the brightness, um, the power, and then the sound. Uh, yeah, so you're also able to, um, you know, use these to um, to to change it around as well if you don't want to be using the remote. But it does a pretty good job uh, heating stuff up, and uh, yeah, looks like that when it's sitting on the wall there.